Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope that you all are doing great. Today in this video, we are going to take a look at top 13 hidden iOS 17 features which nobody is talking about under 10 minutes and they are literally so important. So without wasting any time, let's get started. With iOS 17 came the option to create customized stickers. But one thing which is being overlooked is that now you can use emoji stickers in your chat as well. Doesn't look really cool. I absolutely love using them in my chat, but that's not it. You can also pick your emoji stickers from this dialog and react on the pictures and the text messages that you have received from someone or in the group. It makes the chats really fun and interesting. Besides the iMessage, you can also use these emoji stickers on other platforms like WhatsApp as well. The only difference is that the quality doesn't come up really nice and neat on WhatsApp. The stickers come up with a white background, which doesn't look very attractive. So I hope that it will get fixed in the final version of iOS 17. The next feature that we are missing out in iOS 17 is in Safari. We all know why we browse privately, because privacy. Maybe we do not want the trackers to track us, or we do not want the other people to know what we are looking at. Well, in that case, we have Face ID authentication added to the private mode of the Safari browser. Nobody can just pick up your phone and look at what you were searching for, because your phone will need to authenticate your Face ID for that. Okay, so I have been dying for this feature. In the Notes app, now you can link notes with each other. You see this note, Cafes in New Delhi, India. And I have another note, which is Places to Visit in New Delhi, India. Now I can link that note with this one. I just have to long tap on the page and tap on Add Link. Then I have to search for the name of that note. And once I do that, it will just automatically suggest me that note. I'll tap on it and it will be linked. And now I can access that note within this note. Isn't that so cool? It was very much needed. It will be just so useful when it will come to linking data and information with each other in the notes app. So I have literally seen no one talking about it yet. I don't know why people didn't notice it or what, but now if you open the weather app, you can see the current phase of the moon in it, the time until the next full moon, the timings of moonset and moonrise and the whole moon calendar. Along with it, the size of the speed module is a little bit larger now. And thank God Apple has finally added the moon information in the weather app, because why not? It's a weather app. Besides this, there is one more important privacy feature which has been added on iOS 17, which gives you full control over how much access you are willing to give to the apps when it comes to your photos, because photos are a huge aspect of your privacy. Just open any app in the settings section, tap on photos, and you will have three options there. None, limited access, and full access. We already know the none and the full access, but when we tap on the limited access, we can decide the photos that app can access, and the rest of your gallery is completely safe. I think this one was really intelligent. Now coming on to the next feature, do you know that you can literally insert contacts anywhere you're typing now? This is iMessage, long tap on the screen, tap on insert contacts, and then your contact window will open up. Select any contact you want to insert there. This app is called Line. We have the option here as well. This is WhatsApp, long tap. Then you have to tap on the insert, and then you have to tap on contacts, easy. The next feature which we have to talk about in iOS 17 is something which I absolutely love and I have to talk about it because it's so brilliant. So whenever you are making a list in the Reminders app, you don't have to worry about categorizing the items because the Reminders app will do it for you automatically. For example, I am making this grocery shopping list and I have not created these categories like produce, beverages, bakery, etc. Reminders app is doing it. Let's add oat milk. And now it has created a separate category, which is called dairy, eggs, and plant proteins. And it's so cool because it will be so much easier to take a look at the list while shopping now. Coming on to the next part of the update, this is my favorite. I mean, I love so many things about iOS 17. New wallpapers are added to the astronomical section and they look stunning. This is my favorite. Saturn looks so beautiful. And I didn't even realize it until I was shooting this video that how gorgeous it looks. That's why it's my wallpaper in the intro. It's stunning. This is Neptune, this is Uranus, this is Saturn, Jupiter, Mars. I hope I named them right. And this is our solar system. 
they look beautiful my favorite is satin let me know in the comment section below which one is your favorite and then we have the kaleidoscope wallpapers they look good but satin is going to be the top favorite one and there is one live wallpaper according to me it looks a bit boring apple could have done better but i know they will come up with more one more cool feature of ios 17 update is reply suggestions as soon as you receive a text on imessage you get suggestions on what should you reply to that message they are pretty quick and in case you are running short on time you can just tap on that suggestion and it will be sent so i just love that you know how tiring it gets sometimes when you have a whole article to read but you do not have the energy for it and you want someone else to read it out for you. Well, Safari can do that. Just tap on the double A icon of your Safari browser and then tap on listen to the page. And then Safari will start reading out that whole article to you. And seriously, it's so relaxing and such a relief when you're tired and you do not want to look at your phone screen and Safari is just reading out everything what's written on that page for you. This feature is a lifesaver for people who have a lot to read, but they do not like it. Coming on to the next feature, which is a part of iOS 17 update. Now you have full control over how extensions work in your Safari browser. For example, I have this ad blocker installed because I do not like to look at ads while reading my articles, but it also impacts my shopping experience. Whenever I am looking for a product I want to shop, I am not able to see the ads of that product. So in that case, I can go in the settings section, search for Safari and see how that extension is working. Since we already know that Safari has launched this feature, which is called profiles, I have a separate profile made, which is called shopping. And I have disabled my ad blocker extension for that profile. And now I can finally look at the ads of that product without hindering the experience of reading ad free articles on my Safari browser. Coming on to the next feature, which is a part of this update, the control section of your phone call has moved a little bit down and that's a pretty unexpected one, but I'm glad it happened because now you don't have to stretch your thumb uncomfortably to the top right hand side corner. Instead, the phone control center is exactly where your hand rests naturally during the phone call. So all the phone call options are easily accessible just with one hand. Coming on to the next part of iOS 17 update, wallpapers. I know we have already talked about the new planets in the astronomical section, but now we can also decide the boldness of the time font. Just like so slim to so bold. Like, I love that we can customize that now. We all are tired of the OTPs piling up in our messages app. Well, there is a fix for it now. I will show you how it works. Just open any app which requires an OTP to sign in. I have opened Swiggy. So here is my OTP. The message came as you can see but if i open my messages app there is no otp message there because in the ios 17 update we have the option to instantly delete the otp messages as soon as they are used for that we just have to go in the settings option and then in password options there is a message which says verification codes clean up automatically once you toggle that on there will be no otp messages stored up in your messages app and they will be deleted instantly as soon as they are used. So cool. Moving on to the last feature of this iOS 17 video. You know how when we are holding our phones in our hands while clicking pictures, it's so hard to figure out if we are holding it right. Maybe our hands are too much tilted to the left or maybe they are too much tilted to the right hand side. Well, in that case, now there is a parameter in the center of our camera's screen which help us know if our phone is positioned in the right manner or not. And it's so much helpful because the angles and the position of the camera impacts the photography so much. So I'm glad that Apple created this feature. So guys, that was it for today's video. Let me know in the comment section below which iOS 17 hidden feature you found the most intelligent. You will see my favorite in the comment section below. So don't forget to check it out and let me know your answers as well. Also, on which iPhone are you using the iOS 17 update? I'll be excited to see your answers. Bye!